With the dangerous cold, most shelters across Northeast Ohio at full capacity tonight, trying to lend a helping hand to the homeless. Channel 3's Don Kendrick joins us now live at St. Malachi mm -hmm. Church in Cleveland. Don, good evening. Yeah. Good evening, Russ. It is freezing cold here, obviously, outside St. Malachi's, but inside it is warm and it is a welcome reprieve for a packed house here of people taking advantage of the opportunity to get in from out of the cold. Each one of these people have a story. They have their own stories. Even these, these cots here that you see are empty right now. They are reserved. Someone will be taking advantage of these before the night is over. I mentioned how they all have their own story. This is an awesome guy named Carl Cook. He has his own story. He was homeless once before, and now he runs this place. And he also, Carl Cook, cooks at a place called St. Herman House, where they tell me the director there that there are still far too many people out in the cold on the streets of Cleveland. From the heavens, bless the food and drink. We have a lot of uh, heart wrenching situations here. It is tough out here, especially in the winter months, because we are trying to survive. When we're talking about bitter cold, uh, below the teens, um, it's it's a uh, deadly cold. St. Herman House on Franklin serves more than 200 hot meals a day. The face to face reality of the need. Seven days a week, all year long. But to keep these good people productive and positive on the path to employment when they're homeless in January in Cleveland, they have to, have to have. Housing, 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 housing. Too many, like 23 year old Jeremy Presley, homeless on the unforgiving freezing streets. You don't warm up for like hours. It's, it's stressful. It's, just, it's, it's no relief in it, to be honest. That's why nowadays regular hours at St. Herman House are abandoned because the need to get out of the brutal deep freeze does not keep time by the clock. If you were at the back door at 11 o'clock and somebody came and said, I'm, I'm freezing, I got to get in out of the cold. And that does happen here. It's just very, I mean, very cold. Michael Basie has two full time jobs and is a full time student. Had a home last year, but had a divorce. And like a lot of us, had some bad luck. You know, you have to find shelter, you have to find a place to go. Next time you're bundling up to head home, <laughs> uh, good night. be careful out there. Consider the Jeremy's and the Michaels hoping to have a home. In this country blesses, man. You never know how lucky you are. I say amen to that. Another night of helping people like this get in from out of the cold and give them a hand up. I'm Don Kendrick, Channel 3 News. Back right. to you. All right, Don. Thank you so much.